All right, guys, we are back at Lowe's for my annual display tour. I did one on Menards earlier in the summer. Now we're at the end of the summer, we're at Lowe's. Back with the harbor breeze everywhere. Let's see if we can uh, find anything interesting here. We got a, uh, I can't tell that's a classic or a Springfield too, um, with a blade missing. At least the bracket's still there. And um, the light globe not being there. Got a lot of the typical modern fan designs that we usually see. Um, we have the Fanimation Slingers now being moved to this side. They used to be over there. All the Fanimation stuff, really. I mean, there might still be some more over there. We'll see. Switches and stuff over here. New Hunter thing over here. Can't tell a brand on that. Got a little fandelier here. Vintier. Probably by Harbor Breeze. Okay, I want to see what's this one. Linstead? Linestead? Linstead? I'm probably butchering that name. My sincerest apologies. <laughs> I like the ornate and fancier design on the housing. I, I miss when fans were designed like that. It's just the coolest thing. Um, huggers were moved over here. Those used to be over there. So it kind of seems like this kind of reversed the display a bit. It's like I said, look, we literally got all of our hun huggers on this side. Um, I have the Armitage over here. I'll always remember this corner. First time I ever remember going to a Lowe's, there was a Hunter baseball fan hanging right there. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that in other videos before, but I, I, I still uh, <laughs> wish I could have gotten it. But I, at that point, my bedroom did not have a ceiling uh, electrical box um, or any ceiling lighting for that matter. Now they just have cam lights, so no uh, fan box and yes that was not my decision Cypress Point they got a lot of the fans with the lights off for some reason like having maybe that one on or this one on I mean this one looks like it's trying to come on I don't know if it's coming up on camera really you can kind of see the flashing in the globe uh, it looks like it's trying to come on but it just can't quite do it <laughs> This one too. Well, looks like they're having a sale on this uh, on the Hildebrand. It's a very farmhouse style fan with the wood and the cup looking uh, glassware and the shades. This is like the only modern fan design that I actually kind of like. So. I got a crystal shape fan here. The There's no label on it. That's the Elms, but that's this one over here. Is this? No, there's no label for this fan. That's a shame. I wanted to call it out. That's, uh, yeah seen um man this is a shame there's like a lot of more boring fans here than there have been in past years you know a lot more like boring builders i mean the most interesting ones are right here this one even have a label on it saratoga 2 i just don't like this sidewinder thing on here the older sidewinders with the actual brackets are better these little nubs just don't look right okay i think we've seen this one before the uh, Henderson, basically Harbor Breeze's Quorum Windmill copy. Um, what's this one here? It's backwards. Uh, I, I don't know, I can't really read it. I tried twisting it so you guys can see, but I got uncomfortable. Kind of like a crystal shade thing there, the Somerville. 
I believe that's by Harbor Breeze too, or is that a Hunter? No, that's Harbor Breeze. Um, oh, we have a Minka fan here, Minka Lakeshore. The blade's kind of drooping a bit. Let me see if I can uh, show you. Yeah. See the blades are kind of drooping a bit? Yeah. Minka Baskinville. Really the only interesting looking fans here are all from Minka Air. There. Because, you know, like, otherwise we have, like, yeah, some other modernish fans. Which, I mean, I guess that's really all you're going to find nowadays. Unless the older styles come back. But, like, we have a kind of more traditional uh, Hunter Ridgefield fans. And uh, we got two finishes shown here, too. We got the white and maybe bleached oak oh no bronze so Sil silver and bronze that's not silver and bronze i mean i don't know about you guys i don't see no silver and bronze here maybe uh maybe i'm just misseeing it i don't know okay no that is definitely not bronze unless they're counting that one over there which the lighting definitely looks much better on that one I don't like these daylight bulbs and fans. It's just, it's just unnatural to have daylight bulbs and fans. I'm sorry. But unless maybe for very specific commercial applications, I would never do it. I don't think that was like that last time I was here. I remember seeing this fan, the Sailor Bay. That, uh, that, uh, light there is kind of fallen. That was not like that before. Poor thing. Let's just see if we can point out some random uh, funny things with the tags or things like that. Okay, so this one here, like like I said, um, no globe, missing a blade, dirty. You know what? They have one of those testers here. Uh, one of those testing dusters here. I think they do. Okay, they have one of these. I've seen many people try clean or... Oh test clean the fans here before. I probably wouldn't do this at your lows because I might get in trouble. But let's just see. I mean, I gotta test it out, see how it works. I'm totally not using this thing right. No. Uh-oh, the alarm sounded on me. The temperature in the store is rising. That's uh, that's not concerning at all. <laughs> well, since there really isn't much else interesting here, I mean, this is about the same length, I think, as my normal ones. Um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and remember, stay cool, everybody.